Looks like the SEC is taking blow after blow. And is Doquan really hiding a bunch of Bitcoin? Hmm, next. Those articles and what is happening with all these old whales that are now having their wallets activated from 10, 12 years ago. There's a theory going on around crypto world and it is not good. All next on OG Crypto and NFTs. Welcome everyone. My name is Troy and every day we go over the latest news in blockchain as well as cryptocurrencies and non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Now, before we jump into it, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Boom. I'm going to give you the best five to 10 minutes in the crypto world on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have another channel for real estate. I almost said that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no help from my uh, trusted uh, trusted producer, Emmy, in it. So, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. So, new draft of how stablecoin regulations focus on state regulators, or state regulators, issuers. So Republicans in the House Financial Service Committee on Monday released a new draft on legislation to legislate stablecoin issuers. This has always been the issue for the two years prior. Why couldn't we get something very, very simple passed through? And then we figure out that here comes Sam Bankman Freed and FTX. And this is just my opinion about it. He wants to come in and have his own regulations. He meets with... You know, Maxine Waters, the head of the House Financial Services, he meets with Gary Gensler multiple occasions. I wish they would ask Gary Gensler if he met with outside of his SEC log. And how many other Democrats did he meet? And we still couldn't get something as simple passed. Now, I know that Mr. Wonderful Kevin O'Leary, that was his big push. Make it simple. Something where we can build upon first step, which would be a baby step. I saw several different senators come out and I see congressmen come out and they had their own bills, but they never had a chance because they couldn't get bipartisan approval. Well, today it's starting to come a little more clear. Now, I still have a, uh, an issue. I think that there's just going to be an issue with bipartisan approval, especially in the Senate. I think that there's an agenda here to keep Gary Gensler around. Uh, and it has, it has nothing to do with, you know, Crypto in general has to do more with ESG. So they're just going to go and just turn everything down. But we definitely need it. We need to have safety. We can't get it from Gary Gensler. He's not going to make this market safe. He never has and he never plans to. This is not about retail. It's about his buddies at JP Morgan or World Economic Forum. Maybe getting axed if my, my video getting axed by saying that or by the IMF or BIS, he is he is taking orders. He's just a soldier. He's not the general. And so we're hoping to see this get through. We don't know how much uh, money is backed by Tether. You know, Tether, I feel, doesn't even have the assets that back as much as that they, they continue to issue out there. And then Circle. Yeah, Circle is one of his buddies. I think that Circle itself, we want to see that they have dollars in their bank account, not assets, not volatile assets. And we need to have it done right away. And, and I think that as long as we don't have it, I think that they like the volatility out there and they like that there could be this collapse that really brings down the crypto market. We need to have this regulation in place as we speak. All right, here's the next article. It looks like another blow to Gary. So Coinbase came out and they had asked uh, for the SEC to clarify the rules of the road on crypto assets. We know this because Coinbase had an insider who was front running all the new coins hitting their, their marketplace, their exchange. And so when they got, when a insider manager got caught, him and his brother and his friend, then the uh, treasurer, treasury went after him. But what also went after him was SEC. And SEC named about seven to 11 coins that they said that were security. So they were just throwing that in because they wanted to start, you know, hacking away what's security and what's not. Well, Coinbase said, well, hold on, you know, we can go to trial, we can figure this out, which, which of course, you know, the, the people that are, they're going after is not going to even talk about what a security is. They just want to get 
you know, the least sentence they possibly can for front running those coins. Well, Coinbase said, hold on. We're not going to sit here and have the SEC turn around and get a ruling that these seven cryptocurrencies are, are securities and then turn around and sue us for selling them. So we went to them and this is what, this is what it says. It says, Coinbase took legal action against the SEC on Monday, asking a federal judge to force the regulator to share its answer on Coinbase's July 2020 petition on whether existing security rulemaking process could be extended to cryptocurrency. So they're just even going one step further, and they're just saying, hey, are these even the guys that can do this, right? Because if they're saying, the SEC is saying it's security, and the CFTC is saying it's a commodity, well then how are, who's regulating what? We need to have clear rules. We need clarity. And every time Gary Gensler opens his mouth and goes on CNBC and says, oh, we got clarity, we got clarity, he can't even give the clarity of what he's talking about, right? He's been already publicly humiliated, but we have to continue getting, you know, getting a more and more pressure on the SEC. And let's just, I mean, you know, for an everyday crypto user, and there's, there's becoming more and more people out there, it's just time to stop playing political games and to get down. If you can't do the job, you're fired, okay? And we're tired of all the politics that are involved. All right, let's jump into the next bunch of BS. 10,000 Bitcoin transferred to Swiss Bank. South Korean prosecutors investigate Do Kwon and TFL, Terra Foundation. And so what, what has happened is now we're trying to, we're connecting the dots and we're seeing where all the money was, was flowing out. The golden parachute on the, 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 at the end of the Terra you know, world that about a year ago was that he had all these extra Bitcoin hanging around and he was going to utilize it. So let's go read this article. It says South Korean investigators have revealed that a significant sum, about 8.6 million remains in Sig Signum bank account of Terraform Labs. Okay, well, uh, CEO Do Kwon. So Do Kwon is holding, you know, about $8.6 million worth of crypto assets. While the inquiry into his company is ongoing, Sigma, a pioneer of crypto bank, uh, crypto bank, was established in Zurich, Switzerland in 2017. Well, of course, because they don't want to extradite the money back out. It says, previously in mid-February, the U.S., the, the SEC, has announced Do Kwon transferred a large number of Bitcoin, estimated worth about $250 million, to a Swiss bank, which later identified as Sigma. Signum. The head of Joint Financial Securities Crime Investigation Team in South Korea recently revealed that they are keeping close eye on the Bitcoin holdings in the Luna Foundation Guard, LFG. So it says, furthermore, it stated that a significant amount, roughly 100 million, have been cashed out and moved into a bank, and it's in the same bank. So it looks like he cashed out a bunch of it, put it into a, 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 a fiat account, and then he still holds a bunch of it, a bunch of Bitcoin in the account. Guys, this guy fled and just went, you know, he got caught in a different country. He's been a nightmare. Can we put him in jail where he belongs? He was a king of, of this, you know, 12 months ago. There were so many influencers kissing his ass in this space, you know, saying he was the greatest thing since sliced cheese. The algorithmic stablecoin was one of the worst decisions that he ever made, but he but he got enough influencers to pump it, and they just and of course it just dumped all over retail. Another one of Gary Gensler's big big mistakes. He just wasn't aggressive enough at this, and he just didn't care. I literally didn't care. He was all focused on Sam Bankman Fried and FTX. All right. Uh, other news, XRPL, the ledger, wallet, Zoom, teases merchant app. It looks like they're, con and it says brings fiat pay gates to France and UK. Looks like there's about a thousand merchants that now you can use your Zoom wallet and you can purchase things using XRP as well as, I think, Flare and, Sol and Sologenic or Solo. So, but I know for sure XRP, this just opens a space up to another digital asset currency that you can buy everyday goods with. And the Zoom wallet has been growing like absolute crazy. So in the Zoom wallet, I can buy, you know, NFTs. I can buy, you know, everyday goods. I can buy just about anything that will take cryptocurrency or, or 
uh, XRP. Now, a lot of you out there are going, well, how many places takes XRP? Well, we know in Southeast Asia, we're seeing so many companies adopt, you know, uh, XRP. And, and as they continue to adopt it, they, you can buy cars with it. You can obviously buy homes with it. You can buy a lot of things with this. The Zoom wallet seems to be, you know, really taking off. It's like the MetaMask for XRP and it's growing and growing. I think there's a million plus wallets now that are, are on Zoom and at least have, you know, 10, 10 XRP in them. All right. Something I talked about yesterday that's now the new narrative going around, all these longtime Bitcoin wallets are all of a sudden being activated and, and Bitcoin's being moved around. And it's just, and, and of course, there's, a, there's Ethereum being moved around as well. So, a, a, you know, longtime Bitcoin and Ethereum wallets. Well, there's been a rumor that it's just not maybe one person or a group of people that co collaborated. It looks, it, it, there's a, the rumors going around where they're being hacked. And they're being hacked and now things are, are starting to move. And, and it's very interesting because if they're being hacked, the actual owners of those wallets should be coming out saying, hey, this is happening, you know, at worst making claims, uh, insurance claims are claiming it out there, figuring out where the wallets are connected to, where is it going, what is happening. I know I think one of them went on to an exchange. We're just seeing all this stuff happen with these wallets and where we haven't figured out. Now, if you're taking uh, Bitcoin or crypto and you're taking it out of your wallet and you're putting it on exchange, you're either posturing that you're going to sell it or you're going to sell it. So either there's a thought out there that it's either been hacked, okay, and they're going to sell it sooner or later, or they are looking at a black swan event coming up and they want to sell it and then repurchase somewhere down the road. But it's very interesting. You went through several bull markets, didn't do nothing with it. And all of a sudden now you rolled out of bed and, you, and you're, you're utilizing it. So who knows what's happening here, but this is the next rumor that's, that's coming out. And last but not least, it looks like Amazon NFT Marketplace is about ready to launch. It's May 15th is, it looks like the data, it's gonna open. Uh, and it just, it, and now we have a trusted name coming in here. OpenSea has just been, you know, uh, a mess, I think. And I think that with competition here, OpenSea or Rare IO or Blur or, you know, any of these, you know, uh, Ethereum based or even, you know, multi-chain based marketplaces, if we have competition, we need to get down the fees. The fees are way too high. You know, you have, you know, you're, you're not only feed by the marketplace, you're also feed mostly, mostly by the creator. So he sits there, he creates something, and then he makes money off, off of you trading it all day. And so with that being said, it's just not sustainable to some of these communities because all they do is just drain it out where people are, their NFTs become so you know, uh, if I want to call it devalued to nothing. And then it just, it now the community just disappears or drops out, or we're seeing this so much where now we're seeing a bunch of NFTs, communities are down to under a hundred bucks and then it costs $15 in gas fees. Then you have two and a half percent that's coming off of the marketplace. And then you have another two and a half to six to seven, eight, even 10% creator fees. So all you're doing is being feed to death and nobody wants to hold them anymore. And so you, just, you kill the community because now everyone's just selling out to get out of it. And we're seeing that right now on blue chips. We're just going straight to the bottom with, with a lot of the blue chips. Uh, you know, World of Women has just collapsed into almost nothing. We're seeing Cool Cats under ETH. I mean, these were 8, 10, 15 ETH at one point. Now they're just collapsing. You know, Cool Cats, uh, you know, uh, Board Ape Yacht Club, Mutant Ape Yachts, they're just going down and down. And it just, it just, you're getting feed into oblivion. And I think that people are just done with it. They also see that there could be a, a big, big issue in the future uh, with the, the financial system, you know, and, and the economy and what's happening all over the world that we're just continuing running into high inflation. So that could be it as well. But guys, if you like the content that I'm, I'm producing here, please hit that like button. I really pr appreciate it. You also leave a comment down below. If you think I'm full of shit, tell me I'm full of shit. I don't care. You know, I have no problem having a conversation with you. There's a lot going on in this space. We see the SEC getting hammered right now. And that is that momentum continues to pick up. 
And it's very, very concerning that we're seeing a lot of these whale wallets that are now being moved around. They could be seeing a huge collapse in the crypto market. Exactly what the SEC is looking for, as well as a lot of congressmen, including Elizabeth Warren. Guys, you have a fantastic day and there's never a boring day in the crypto world. We'll see you tomorrow.